<sighs> Let's talk about the worst year in the world. What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel and as you can tell from the intro, we're gonna be talking about 2021. Now, I am not going to be diving into the negatives because I want to focus on the positives and talk about some of the positive things that both in my life happened and also what happened in our industry, some of the positive things we can think about in 2020. And I wanna also talk about here at the end, some of the things that I see coming for 2021. What does this future entail? What am I doing on the channel? And everything revolving the whole entire year of 2020 and what I see coming in 2021. Now, first off, 2020 sucked. Like, I can't say it enough. Like, 2020 sucked. We all know it. We all lived it. We all went through it. We're all thankful that it's over with. It was the worst year that I think anyone that is living right now has ever seen, unless you were part of the Great Depression. I don't know. Maybe you saw some if you were really, really old. But most people that are watching this video have never seen a worse year before. So, in making this video, I don't want to make it feel like I'm bragging in any sense. I don't think I'm going to be bragging. I, all this is just talking about the positives that happened in our community and stuff like that. But a lot of you guys I know a lot of people have it a lot worse than I did I mean like a lot of people had it way worse some people lost their whole entire businesses some people had to put up their house some people had to sell their houses it, it was a bad year we all know it but with that said let's focus on the positives and let's talk about some of the positives that happened in 2020 so as we all know 2020 hit with a bang and basically we all lost all of our events but what sprung from that was pretty awesome and that was uh by far the biggest thing that happened in 2020 live streaming live streaming <laughs> Every DJ basically on the face of the earth went to Facebook, went to Instagram, went to YouTube, went to Twitch, Twitch happened a little bit later on, but everyone just out of the blue, mostly on Facebook, started live streaming their sets. A lot of the guys that do clubs, a lot of the guys that are doing week gigs, just got on Facebook, started DJing, and it was everywhere. Everyone was DJing. And a lot of people know I was actually kind of against this at the beginning, uh, mostly because I, like a lot of other people, were pretty hopeful that this wasn't going to last the whole entire year, and we would be back in like a couple months, but we all know that didn't happen. So everyone knows I jumped on the live streaming as well, and I have to say that the live streaming, one of the best parts about it it pushed everyone out of their comfort zone everyone was seeing how good everyone else was you could clearly tell how good you were it really put you back it like knocked everyone down a step if that makes sense because no matter who you were there was always someone else out there live streaming I mean, unless you were like Angelo or DJ Jazzy Jeff like everyone there was always someone better than you there's always someone that was better than you it really put you kind of in your place and it pushed you to become better and if there's anything that live streaming did for DJs it gave you live practice in in front of people that are watching you, put you under pressure, and it made you a better DJ, it helped everyone out. A lot of good edits came out of 2020. Uh, I know I'm on direct music service, and I don't think I've ever seen it get flooded that much in a short amount of time. The amount of edits that are being posted by these guys was insane. And I honestly had a lot of fun with it. It was a big deal for me, because you know I did a big production or whatever. That's what I was about. I wanted to bring the whole element of making this a bigger production to try and do that for live streams. Some guys blew me out of the water and did crazy trussing setups and that, but I had a blast. I loved every minute of it. A lot of us involved alcohol with our live streams. A lot of us got very tipsy uh, and it was just fun. Everyone was having fun. It was always fun to go watch another DJ on their live stream. And uh, that kind of brings up uh, the next point that I wanted to talk about, and that was the whole community. The 2020, if anybody was paying attention, the DJ community, I felt like from the messages I was getting when I was jumping on with other guys on YouTube, the quarantine, the quarantine DJ live videos we were doing, the little talk show we were doing, the messages, the Instagram, being on the other live streams and stuff. It was just a lot of DJs being one and working as a community. Well, not really working as a community, but interacting, and you saw a very big community bond happen at least online is what I was seeing. A lot of us think that we're out against each other in the world, especially in different markets. We think that we're really big competitors. In reality, we're all DJs. We're all pursuing a passion. We love to entertain people. We love to make people's days. We love to do weddings. During this whole entire quarantine has brought a lot of us closer, especially like your neighbors and your local DJs. I know a lot of DJs have got really closer together with trying to work with each other to keep each other afloat in terms of still doing events. So I really 
have loved seeing the whole entire community. I mean, I'm big on the keep them records spinning this by saying I give back to you guys through these videos. So it was honestly awesome to see the whole community interacting with each other on all these live streams, donating money back and forth to each other, uh, pitching ideas, talking about events. It was really cool to see the sense of community uh, heightened during the whole entire quarantine. That was something that was awesome. Beyond all the drunken fun we had on these live streams and community, 2020 was no short of one of the biggest challenges for anyone not just in the DJ industry, but everyone in general. It pushed everyone to a huge challenge, especially in the finance sense, to try and keep yourself afloat. Which meant a lot of us in the DJ community looked to try and become very innovative, become leaner in our business, to save on expenses. We tried to be very innovative to keep afloat, keep revenue coming in, and to also cut down on expenses so that we can make it through the hell of 2020. Some of the main things I saw that maybe you didn't pick up on, we all quickly learned how to do a video meeting, whether it was on Zoom, Google Meet, Skype, whatever you were using, everyone had to switch to doing video meetings for your consultations, for lead calls, so just talk to anyone in general. Um, it wasn't just in our industry. I mean, every business went to working at home and using video meeting softwares of some sort. We learned how to use live streaming cameras, cameras for webcam meetings. We learned how to use microphones in that sense, how to get a microphone in the computer. Uh, it pushed a lot of us to learn a lot of innovative ways to keep ourselves going. Obviously, a lot of us learned how to do live streaming and a lot of us quickly learn where you can and cannot live stream because we actually play music and a lot of platforms don't like that. But beyond doing the public live streaming, I know a lot of people, including myself, have adapted doing live events. I don't know if you guys have followed me on my Instagram story or whatnot, uh, but here, right here in the office, I partnered with a local DJ This is part of that community thing, but he does a video, music video bingo thing. I know how to live stream, he didn't, so we partnered together. He does the video bingo, and I live stream the whole thing, and we do it to a bunch of colleges. We do them a lot, actually. We did quite a few, and we have more that's coming up because quarantine and COVID is still a thing, unfortunately. But doing these live stream events has been a new sort of realm that's like started to pop off. I know my buddy A-Rock in Ohio is doing like live entertainment for colleges. So there's a lot of areas that people are getting very innovative with in the live streaming space. I also saw a lot of DJ companies offering kind of new services uh, like live streaming weddings. So like ceremonies, live streaming ceremonies where there's no guests basically. Also seeing where DJs are reusing their gear for other things such as movies. I mean, if you imagine, most of us have projectors to do monograms. Uh, we have speakers. So all you need is a screen to shoot it on and you can start offering movie services to private uh, houses and private events for little birthday parties and stuff for the family. Etc. There's little cool things like that that people were doing. And then you got even crazier people like my friend Brandon up in New York who basically created a whole entire new company and started manufacturing sneeze guards for the New York area. Like he literally completed a whole entire new sector, new business, new venture. I know a lot of people started to look into new ventures of ways to try and increase that revenue, get that revenue back that you're losing on events. A lot of us were facing those challenges and came up with a lot of innovative solutions. And I invite you guys, if you guys have some creative solutions that you implemented to so leave them down in the comment section down below and also just tell your story I'm really curious to see kind of what the challenges were a lot of you guys face try to stay off the negatives I really want to focus on the positives what you guys have learned what you guys like seeing in 2020 and what we can learn as a community and what we can do to get better and that kind of brings me to the end of 2020 and what we're gonna be looking forward in 2021 as most of us know in some areas of America and in the world we were able to resume events during the fall I was thankfully one of the areas that was able to do that. We ended up doing a whopping 21 weddings, which depending on your situation, you sounds like an amazing deal or sounds like the lowest volume ever. I know I feel for a lot of my friends in the New York and the California area and across the globe where you guys are basically still on a kind of lockdown, which is insane. But thankfully, 2020 is over with. And with that out of the way, I move into 2021. So let's talk about 2021. So 
2021, what does it have in store for us? Well, first off, if you're anyone in the entertainment space that's relying on events, I'm pretty sure you've been paying very, very close attention to the news in terms of what's going on with COVID. And the good news is, at least here in the United States, that vaccines are going out and they are going out very rapidly. I actually know quite a few of my couples or the brides that I know, they're like nurses at hospitals and they've already got their vaccinations, which is a big positive and gets me excited for the future. But with that said, I do have a slight little theory right now and I kind of want to know in the comment section down below. I, I know from talking to other guys in my area, this is the case, but if you kind of think about it, and I kind of called this early on, around the time that COVID hit, right, was around the January, February, March time frame, and typically couples book a year in advance. So most of us know that pretty much bookings died off or dropped half, if not a quarter, during the initial parts of COVID. Like people just stopped planning. They weren't worried about it. They were worried about surviving. People weren't planning weddings and people weren't looking to book for weddings. Therefore, this time this year, we have a lull. There's not many bookings for weddings. There's not many events going on. So most of us are kind of on a on cruise control waiting until we get to the spring, which in my eyes is a good thing because that gives them time to get all these vaccinations out there and hopefully it will allow them to start opening up and allowing events to happen again, which will be a huge, huge blessing for our industry. But if 2020 has taught us anything, you want to live with the mindset of the worst possibility and that is that COVID still exists during the spring. So keep that in mind. Always have a safety net, always have a backup. I can't preach that enough. I am so thankful that I've been taught those assets to basically save up, have a savings fund available for when COVID hits that you can actually survive it and keep going. I know for a lot of you guys, you guys have already gone through all your savings funds. So the good news is that there are federal funding has been pumped out. So if you guys are owning a business and you need money, you should be applying for those loans absolutely right now. My business is not in need of money right now. I am doing good with pulling money from different aspects of my business. So I, I'm not going to be taking money. I'm not going to be asking for funding that leaves more money on the table for people that actually need it. Based on what I'm seeing right now, my intuition and my hope is that we will see events start to resume here in the spring. I'm talking like late April, early May. I'm hoping that basically we can get enough vaccinations out there that states and governments will start to open up restrictions and allow us to get back to doing events. We still will have to be careful at these events for the most part. I, I don't think that we're gonna be able to just go to events, have no mask at all and not be using hand sanitizer. I think we're gonna still be practicing a lot of those routines and a lot of those safety precautions, but I do think that we will be able to get back and start doing some events in the spring. And that's kind of my opinion of what's gonna be happening in 2021 so far. But here at the end, I did wanna talk about a lot of things that uh, kind of new things for you guys, new things for the channel, and stuff you can expect. And this in no means is me bragging or anything. This is kind of just me laying out the plan. It's uh, it's actually a lot for me personally because it holds me accountable to say this stuff, that this is going to be stuff that's going to be happening on the channel. I just kind of want to tell you guys what's going on in my life, what's going on with the business, and what you can expect. So first off, this channel, we are getting close to 50,000 subscribers. I am really excited for when we hit it because I have have a ginormous, and I'm saying this ginormous giveaway planned when we hit 50,000 subscribers. I'm talking probably a complete DJ system. Everything you will need to be a DJ is going to be in this giveaway. It's going to be massive. It's going to be thousands of dollars worth of gear that's going to be get, given away and it's going to be free to enter basically. So that's going to be coming when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So that's something to look forward to on this channel. DJ Life clothing, my brand, you know, the shirt right here, the awesomeness. I am going to be doing two more drops in 2021. We're going to be doing a summer drop and we're going to be doing a winter drop. I do kind of want to know some opinions on that and I'll be asking on social media kind of what you guys want to see in those drops, what kind of clothing you want to see in those drops. And I am planning on doing another sort of sweepstakes on both of those drops. So you guys are going to be entered in to win DJ gear. Uh, I'm really kind of curious on what I'm going to put into it. I'm thinking a set of speakers this time or maybe the new Rain One would be the prize. We'll see here in the summer what the most popular item is that you guys would possibly want to see in a sweepstakes. Of course, I have to talk about what you can expect from my company, Fusion Sound and Lighting, what you can expect to see on the channel in terms of videos from that. Of course, Fusion Sound and Lighting, I need to talk about my company, what you can expect to see on the channel or what you can see in terms of growth from the company. So right now, as it stands, this is 
beginning of 2021, we are set to have the biggest year I've ever had. Now, keep in mind that Fusion Satellite Lighting is a startup in terms of 2019 was technically the first full calendar year, 2020 was going to be the second, which we all know how that went. We're set basically in 2021 to have literally three times the amount of business that I've ever had in a single year, which is going to bring a lot of challenges for this guy right here, especially with the fact that we're gonna be adding a third DJ, Drake is coming on as a headline DJ. He's actually gonna be starting literally this spring is going to kind of be moving into the headline role of emceeing, DJing, all that. We have some new roadies that are coming in. So I'm prepped to have one hell of a crazy year in terms of what I'm used to. So I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna be filming as much of it as I can. If I go on some hiatus from YouTube for a little while, just know that I'm probably busy as shit with my business and I can't get around the filming a video. But I will keep filming during that time. Trust me, I'm gonna film everything. I wanna document, like I love sharing my life with you guys. I love showing the business growth. A lot of you guys have been around since like 2015 when I started this YouTube channel. A lot of you guys know that I, I started, I worked for another company, and now I have my own company. It's crazy to see the growth on this channel and to go back and watch old videos. So I'm not trying to brag or anything. It's just, it's so much fun to share this experience with you guys and hopefully inspire you guys to get better and to do awesome things. And a lot of you young guys inspire, inspire you to show you guys the path to basically get to the point where you can do this full time, which is the journey that I'm on right now. And if 2021 works out, I will be that much closer to the goal of making this my full time career. So that's the things that you guys already know. DJ Life Clothing, the YouTube channel. I'm gonna keep doing product reviews. We got a lot of product reviews coming. If you guys got any suggestions for product reviews, leave down in the comment section down below because if you guys don't know, I pretty much don't work with a lot of companies, mostly because I want freedom to say my own damn opinion. So I'm really considering buying a lot of individual gear pieces, like getting them in and then maybe selling them back to you guys if I don't want them. Buying some gear pieces and being able to literally put my hands on them, review them, and tell you guys my personal opinions on them. Or if there's any gear I already have, like this 1000 SRT, I've really not made a video on it, let me know. But I do want to talk about a couple new ventures. One you may have already known about, I started it at, in March of 2020, and then the one just recently that I started, if you guys watched the last video. So first off, I have a, this is kind of like not related, but if you guys are interested in automotive at all, I launched a automotive channel for my truck. If you guys have seen it, some videos. It's a pretty dope truck. It's a Tacoma TRD off-road. That is kind of my secondary channel right now and I'm really trying to build that up and I want to get into the car for it etc. So if you guys are interested in that I'm gonna link it down below. It's actually linked down below. So if you're interested in that and you want to help me grow in that aspect of YouTube, go check that out. I literally post the same amount. So I post every one to two weeks on this channel. I post one to two weeks on that channel. So if you want more content from me, go subscribe to that channel, especially if you're interested in automotive. The second one though is the one that a lot of you guys saw in the last video, and that is that I started a venture becoming a dealer for both lighting. Both lighting makes all the up lights that you see, you've seen me use all year and like you guys have blown me up in the comments about these lights. And I hadn't got around to posting a review until literally the end. I've actually, I might have posted in January, I don't even remember. In the midst of filming that, literally the beginning of January, I already filmed the review and you guys saw it at the end of the video if you watched that review of my up lighting. Both contacted me, both lighting contacted me and asked if I wanted to become a dealer. And I said yes, and I officially am the first US based dealer for both lighting. And if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, these are my up lights right here. They're uh, Hex, wireless, DMX, all that fun stuff, battery powered, solid metal construction, all that fun stuff. I have a whole review on these, so go check that out. But these are wireless up lights, and that's what both lighting makes. Both lighting is based in China. So it's a huge thing being a US dealer because the beauty of that is I can sell you guys these lights, and the one benefit benefit of buying from me versus buying from China is you work with me directly. So you don't have to wire money to China. You don't have to do all this stuff. I will handle that on my side. That's what I have to do on the business side of things to do this. But basically you work with me on a one-to-one -one basis. I get you the quotes and everything. I order the lights for you. They come to your door, no hassle. If you have any problems with your lights, the nice part is both lighting offers a one-year warranty on their lights. And I actually have all the parts here. They shipped them to me. To 
be able to fix the lights. So if you have any problem with your light, all you do is ship it to me. I'll fix it, ship it back for free if it's within that one year period and you're good to go. You don't have to deal with someone in China that you can't understand. They operate on different hours. So it's a huge venture for me. It's a huge business opportunity and it's a huge benefit to bring these lights to customers and people like you guys. With that said though, this is just a little teaser. I have a video planned for this. This right here is the S4 par. This is the ones that I had. So I had them ship me the other three models they have, like this one. This is the S6. There are six diodes in this one. It's white. This one is like a white pearl finish, and this one's a flat black finish. Those are the two finishes they offer. But uh, this one's literally the same part, except it's got more diodes. I'll tell you quickly that the only difference between the two of them, this one has more diodes, but it's just as bright. It just has a wider coverage. It's got a wider bead angle. That one's more narrow, but they have the same output. But if you guys are still watching this video, and I hope you are, and you're interested in uplighting, both lighting doesn't even advertise this light yet. These are the minis. Mini 4, Mini 6. I've already tested the output. They do the same output output as these guys right here. They literally do the same output. The only difference is you lose the screen and now instead of power con in and out, you have like a, it's basically like a laptop charger to charge it, but it still has DMX in and out. It still has wireless DMX. The screen's not color. It's just a normal, one of the little digital displays down below, but they're tiny. These things are going to take up less room. They don't weigh as much and weight is huge, especially when you're ordering from China. So I still have to go through and do some battery testing on these and see if they're worth it. But these are really exciting because these are awesome. They're so small, they're so tiny, and like I'm super excited. If, if these hold up in the battery testing, I'm buying them. I'm really excited for that venture. I'm really excited for that. I know I've been overwhelmed. You guys have been killing me with emails, but if you guys are interested in any of those, I'm a dealer for them now. Info at djrickweb, info at gmail.com. I can't even remember my email because you guys has been sending me so many emails, but I've been responding to every single one of you guys. You've been keeping me up until like 1.30 in the morning. But anyways, guys, I'm really excited for this venture. And this kind of brings me to the next point, And that is that a lot of this would not be possible if it wasn't for you guys. And I am truly honored. Like we are in no means in the YouTube realm, a huge YouTube channel. I mean, we have a little less than 50,000 subscribers. I mean, I can't remember how many thousands and thousands and thousands of, of channels have over a hundred thousand subscribers but it really is humbling to think about how much my life has changed because of this YouTube channel, to think about the opportunities you guys have brought me from both lighting reaching out to me to become a dealer, to companies reaching out and sending me products to show you guys on the channel. It's it's honestly super humbling and uh, if 2020 has taught me anything, it's to be very, very thankful for the things you have and I am so grateful for you guys. I, I, I don't know if it comes across on the camera. I try to be as honest and as transparent as I possibly can. That's a huge integrity values that I have personally is to be very honest, to be very open and I really wanna share my life with you guys and I, I welcome you guys into my life so it's a huge risk as well to do that but uh, I, I thank you guys so much and and uh, seriously, 2020, we all know it sucked, but I'm so thankful for you guys that have stuck with me throughout 2020. You guys that are here for the future, the guys that have been here since 2015. Every single one of you guys, I'm so thankful and grateful for this channel, for the opportunities, for my business. You guys pushed me to become a better DJ. Everything has, it, it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. And if you could, slap a like on this video. Leave down the comment section down below. I know I asked for a lot of comments, a lot of little things that I was talking about in this video. This video is probably really long. This was kind of my open face message. This is no bullshit, just me sitting down and talking about 2020, trying to stick to the positives, talk a little bit about 2021, talk about the stuff that's going on in my life and sharing with you guys. So leave down the comment section down below. If you're new around here and you're actually watching this video at this point, thank you so much. Consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see all the awesome videos that I'm gonna be posting in 2021. I guess I said no promotions, but if you're watching the video at this point, right now, shopdjlife.com, the giveaway portion is all over. So all of the merch that is left if you can get it, once it sells out, it's gone. All the merch that is left from the winter drop is now on literally 50% off. So if you stuck around and you still want some, go check it out, shopdjlife.com. Anyways, guys, keep the record spinning. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.